The COVID case numbers in the Carolinas continue to skyrocket, though, particularly in South Carolina, which has seen case growth accelerating. As Vanessa Rufus shows us, the Palmetto State has nearly caught up with the daily case jumps happening just to the north. Health officials in both Carolinas say this 4th of July weekend will be critical in how quickly life gets back to normal for all of us. And there's a lot of work ahead. A sharp incline of new coronavirus cases in South Carolina, the state with another day of 1600 plus positives, bringing its average case jumps every day to nearly 1300. And unless we do something dramatically different, we will be looking at projections that are far worse than what we're experiencing now. While it managed to keep its average daily cases lower for months, the Palmetto State has nearly caught up with the increases in North Carolina. With more than 1,600 new cases Thursday, off a new record day of more than 1,800 the day before, North Carolina is now averaging 1,400 new infections every day, just 100 more than its neighbor to the south. Meantime, North Carolina's positive test rate has hardly budged from 9% in early June. In South Carolina, the rate has nearly quadrupled from its lowest average in late May to more than 17% today. Although the Carolinas are each facing different numbers trajectories right now, the general trend for both is up, which is why health officials say to take extra care now or face the fate of other states. You're seeing states like Texas, Arizona, even California, not only uh, not move forward, they're closing things. And what are they closing? They're closing bars, they're closing gyms, they're closing indoor dining um, at restaurants. I don't wanna have to go backwards. And not only are those states going backwards, but one just became the latest to mandate masks. After previously resisting calls for such an order, Texas Governor Greg Abbott just ordered counties with more than 20 cases to mask up in public. Vanessa Rufus, WCNC Charlotte.